Alright, hello everybody, this is Rex, and I will be doing a Let's Play, slowly, of Final Fantasy Tactics CCP2, also known as Sodia's Complete Patch 2nd. Uh, this is a project Sodia has worked on for a short while, or actually I have absolutely no idea how long she's worked on this. So let's get started with the new game here. I completely forgot that um, the regular controls for tact, uh, FFT are re inversed, actually. As in, you know, X, circle, cancel, so on and so forth. But those of you who played this would know that problem. I just um, forgot about that. So, use the name of Rex, of course. Roms is not bad, but just so we know who, who is it here. Uh, August 24th, that is my birthday. I am a Virgo. Skip the intro. Uh, I am running this on 125, uh, 120 frames per second. So it'll, everything will seem a little faster than normal. <clears throat> for those of you already familiar with FFT, I don't need to say much because this let's play is for what cell to get added to the game, not the game itself. A little bit of a sprite weirdness with, uh, with, uh, red there. Tried to go back to the original Squire sprite. Yes, I am a mercenary, not a knight. And this is quite possibly the easiest fight in the game. Um, I'm fairly certain that Zelda did this only so uh, only so the beginning of the game would go faster. But unlike all the other, uh, unlike the other original battle here, you have absolutely no chance of losing this one because there are literally only two enemies. Now, in this patch specifically, you control everybody. There are no guests. But, I'm lazy, so... I'll let him do what he wants. Let's see, we have bandage, charge, and hold the line. Oh, I can't do much right now, so I might as well just hold the line here. Adds defending for everybody in a certain AoE around your character. Pretty, uh, pretty useful skill. Well, since I can't do much, might as well just use Chakra, give him his MP back so he can go, uh, you keep using his Heartseeker Blade. Because <clears throat> while, um, some of her sword skills don't cost, uh, they don't cost MP, but they're short-ranged, his does. And I can't do anything this turn. Gotta wait. Balance my, oh, well, they're useless, so let's just move forward and wait. Same with you. Speed check, line, and visualize. What does that do? Oh, yeah, that's right, Faye. Uh, let's see. Miss? I'm not exactly sure how evasion was changed for this game compared to other, or for this patch compared to the regular game, but it seems like <clears throat> it seems like enemies will evade far, far more often if you try to hit them from the front. So, to the best of your ability, always try to attack from behind or from the sides, because that really is one of the only wa reliable ways to hit somebody. And he just tried an attack and moved out of the way, so that was kind of amusing. See. I'm going to go after the green mage over here. It looks like a white mage, but no, it's a green mage. I'll, I'll explain those guys later. Low damage, there's one stop proc. 
Must be bad compat, because that damage was absolutely horrendous. Wait, will Smite do any more damage? No, it won't. <clears throat> Let's see, Smite, rem remove paralysis. Remove paralysis, uh, by the way, is a... These guys are called champions. Remove paralysis uh, will remove slow, stop, don't move, and don't act. Really handy, especially later on. Now here, I'll, I'll show you exactly why attacking from the front's a really bad idea. I got guarded. I had a 70% chance. Or 72, I think. Ow, Smite. Uh, Smite just does regular weapon damage, but it's wholly elemental. Bandage is your friend. <clears throat> Early on, uh... Revival and he uh, revival is really rare. So even those little tiny uh, 15s and 20s and 30s or whatever you happen to make it get up to, they help out quite a lot. And it's free. It's not. It doesn't cost anything. So it's not like a potion. And let's end this first fight. Yeah, that is. That has to be bad compat. Ovelia is getting kidnapped yet again. The patch doesn't change anything related to the story except for a few uh, events here and there. But that's the nature of a job and equipment patch. And now here we go. Also, if you press the if you press the cancel button, you will skip all of the text. It is amazing. I can't remember precisely who made that uh, hack, but it's well, I am grateful that they did. <laughs> story, story, more story, more story. Alrighty. More sprite weirdness. That is the sprite for the demagogues, by the way. There's a female demagogue. Gang of tortured thieves. Just like rebels plotting rebellion, they're tortured thieves. And I will save on this one. I think I accidentally used one of the saves for uh, save files from uh, memory cards for arena on this, but never matter. It's still a memory card. Okay, let me see. Oh, that's going a little too fast for me. Alright. Now, everybody starts out with 65-65, a bravery and faith. There is no way to permanently increase or reduce this. So, unfortunately, okay. Pisces and Virgo would have worse combat since they're the same gender. There's a Scorpio, uh, I got a Libra here, Leo, another Libra, and a Capricorn. The Capricorn would have good combat, so I'm definitely going to put her in, and, wow, I can't not make this go that fast. Let's see here. Alright, I'll just add in... Spike here, because he has the better weapon. Can't go wrong with Alchemist, so I'll throw in Sanders. Which of these have the crossbow? I'm going to use uh, Cherry here. And Stella, because she has a flail. Magic City Garland. <clears throat> Thieves! It looks like there's only three, although there could be a fourth. Auto battle. Safe fading life. Go do what you want. I don't care. And he leveled up, because he has a... Um, I think it is a... Armor called a training vest that will... Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the items in CCB2 have a neat little thing stuck on them, like... Let's say this training vest here. 
which gives you in it move JP up. So you don't actually have to equip it for JP up to work or uh, move JP up to work. It's really neat. These guys have really low HP. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this one. And he leveled up too. Alchemy? Nope. Can't do anything. Four. And here we go. Shoot her up there. There was okay. Uh, crossbows in this come with the. Uh, let me think. This one I believe has a uh, cinder shield, which is basically a shield break. And if they don't have a shield, it counts as a second attack when it uh, procs. So there was d there was a double attack right there. You can't do much. Just sit there. Oh no, 12 damage. Wait, did he just double turn? Wow, he's fast. Okay, that was nastier than what I wanted. Remember, potions only, uh, potions are... Well, they cost money. Money's... I wouldn't say it argues the rarest thing to come by, it's just not as easy to get as it was in uh, Vanilla FFT. So do be careful about how you spend stuff. Well, can't hit him from here, so, well, actually, no, let me move. So, let's run over this way. 4 JP. Yay! And, by the way, this is not a blind playthrough. I have played through this game before, or I've played through this patch before. He, I must shot missed. Let's see if I can't stab him in the face. Yes. I find it amusing how a knife does more damage than a crossbow, but... Double attack, so you never know. Alrighty. Set amounts of gill, which is exactly why I mentioned that money is a little harder to come by. I'm not so sure about random fights, because I don't quite remember, but... Oh, we had a world glitch there for a second where it didn't pop up. Well, this is a... Let me actually start the formation so I can explain a few things off, and then I'll end this first video. Main character is called a hero. <laughs> Zelda, you're awesome. Now, a lot of the abilities are, have changed. Uh, like, say, regular squires now have counter as an ability, so they'll just counter attack, not counter tackle. Counter tackle is kind of useless. Uh, leap, jump plus one. Equip shield, gray soul, but makes you. It, it basically makes you resistant to every sort of element. Uh, you have no uh, equipment weaknesses or, um, yeah, you have no equipment weaknesses and you have no, um, yeah, basically that. I think, I still think absorbing something would work, but I have absolutely no idea because I don't, I don't use it that often. Uh, let's see here. We have Bandage, we have Pacify, we have Vigor, and we have Ardor. For this one, I'm going to go for bandage because you immediately need something like bandage. <clears throat> There's no getting around it. You need something to heal yourself in this. As for uh, alchemist, alchemist is basically the same thing as your regular old chemist, except they can throw things like star curtains, light curtains, which add protection charm, uh, and then they have uh, they can throw things that inflict a status effects like blind, poison, don't move, floating undead, uh, berserk, regain in haste. And Death Sentence. Lots of neat stuff. They also have Soul Shield, which is a little... Odd choice for me, but... I mean, for this class, uh, for this job particularly, but, eh, no matter. Maintenance. Regular good stuff. And I find that enemies don't really tend to... Enemies won't tend to steal that often, but a lot of uh, enemies with crossbows can break your equipment very easily. So, maintenance is actually worthwhile if you're not planning on uh, investing in anything else. And move find out. I'm just like regular old chemist. Demagogues here. Demagogues are basically like... Uh, I, don't, I don't think they really have any comparison from the old Final Fantasy Tactics classes. These guys behave sort of as... Sort of like 
mediators, but wider range and more versatile, I guess. Uh, they're more like knights, where they can equip heavy armor and spears and so on and so forth. But they also their main uh, their main factor is here. They train. Uh, they they have invite for monsters. You can't. I don't think you can invite uh, enemy characters. Just monsters. Defending. The same thing I used earlier. Adds defending to everybody within that AOE. To all allies, anyway. Zealotry? Well, Zealotry is one of the most... Um, backlashing skills I have seen. It takes a very particular setup to evade... Uh, to evade most of it. Now, it adds Berserk Haste and Death Sentence to everybody within the AoE. And that includes the user. Yes. Oh, and by the way, Death Sentence in this patch... Kills you after one turn. You only get one turn to act. So this attack is extremely lethal to everybody hit by it. And enemies will <clears throat> intentionally try to silence the character using this. And since uh, green magic is fairly common, they will immediately try to silence you. Evangelize adds faith. Shout is one of the most annoying skills. And you are going to see me rage at it a lot. Because the enemy AI loves to use it. It adds confusion in a line. Very, very, very annoying. Rebuke is basically like, uh... I don't know, Dispel-wise. It just cancels all... Uh... Cancels all, uh, buffs and whatnot in an area. Actually, linear in this case. Pretty good, especially if they're protecting themselves and you want to get rid of that. Uh, stun. Don't act, don't move, and stop. It... Stuns all nearby enemies. I think it does so for you as well. So, I, obviously, don't act and stop would completely uh, negate the fact that you're even doing so. Um, so, if you're going to use this, I would recommend trying to at least resist those two. Don't move is not so bad, but it's it is what it is. Finger guard, evade speechcraft skills, monster talk allows basically just allows everything you use here to be used on monsters as well. Equip pole arms, equip poles, spears and poles, of all, uh, regardless of job. That's actually really handy. Because spears are really powerful. Green mages. Green mages replace... Uh, you don't really have a straight up white mage or black mage. Green mages are all... Uh, buffs and... Uh, they're all buffs and... Debuffs, basically. Force armor. Basically protect. Shell. Renew. Yes, you get it. Each one of these spells will heal slightly, uh, just by a few, just mostly by like minor HP. So you'll see the AI try to use that a lot to heal up and then run away, so on and so forth. But these skills are still pretty handy. Um, if you're going to go as a green mage uh, and you have the chance to get it, I would recommend at least start it. Trying to, if you have the JP for it, I would at least recommend starting with Osmos. Of course, you'll need to find another source of uh, doing damage or doing something to gain yourself JP, but you'll want to at least, uh, my recommendation is starting with Osmos so you can restore your MP. Uh, accelerate, haste, slow, don't move, don't act, whoops, uh, poison, second life is re-raise, zombify is undead, and rage is berserk, so on and so forth. Bane acts like Counterflood did in the past, and... Just counter it. It's just status effects, though. Warding is, um... You start with Protect and Shell, but they will wear off after a while. Pretty handy. And then Levitation is, uh... Float, but it has an added effect of don't... It, it makes you immune to don't move. That can be really handy. Sunder Helmet. Uh, no, Gunslingers. Gunslingers are basically like a uh, fusion of... I don't want to say Archers... But they are kind of like archer. They're like a fusion of archers and uh, the knights were in the old game. Sunder helmet destroys a weapon, or destroys a helmet rather. Weapon range effect one. Same thing for armor, shield, weapon. Fairly self-explanatory. Aim arms and legs is basically like Mustardius skills. Don't move and don't act. Aim body adds stop, and aim head adds death sentence. Because a headshot doesn't immediately kill you. Uh, quick hands is basically in it. Item, uh, throw item, catch, and arrow guard. It's a very handy skill, especially... It's a very handy skill because it's a bunch of stuff in one. And it triggers on a, uh, a bow or crossbow tech. Doesn't tri... It's not like blade grasp. It only triggers on those two. 
Concentrate makes your basic attacks unavailable. This is very, very, very handy. It also takes forever to get because it has it costs 400 JP. Dash lets you move just a bit farther, and this is quite possibly the first skill I'm going to get from this. So there we go. Now let me see if I have any other jobs to describe off real quick. And then I will end this video. Oh, well, I hit the button. I wrong button. Here we go. Nothing new. Nothing new. Or nothing different, rather. Oh, and we have Cannoneer. Cannoneers are fairly squishy. And their uh, skills cost a lot of MP. But their skills also have massive AoE. And can be used from a fair good distance. It's just uh, weaker damage over a huge area for this shrapnel, uh, shrapnel mortar. Flashbang mortar adds blind, uh, slow, and don't act. You're going to see a lot of enemies use this. Uh, piercing mortar does a lot of damage to a single target. Potion mortar is very handy because it heals. Uh, not for a whole lot, but it heals over a big area. Tincture mortar does the same thing for MP. Uh, Phoenix Mortar is one of the easiest ways to revive early game because Phoenix Downs themselves are kind of expensive. Just beware that it's not... Um, I can't remember if this... I cannot remember if this um, just simply resurrects you and then your character will die if they don't heal themselves or are revived. So on and so forth, but yes, it is very handy for early revival, and Hazard Mortar hurts yourself to heavily damage another target. They have Barrier, which uh, gives Protect and Shell in response to HP damage. Stone Skin, 10% uh, extra HP, and that's about that. So, thank you all for watching the first video in my Let's Play of Celdius Complete Patch, and I will see you next time.